This is code.org, and we are drawing a tree. All right. In the drawing scene.java, check. Write the method create scene. Uh, oh, they provided us the signature, right? Which is just the title thing. Uh, use the draw rectangle method to draw the tree trunk. Expand that. Draw to draw the trunk of the tree. Position the trunk at 150, 250. So that's going to be the X and Y. Okay, so let me just start. And the X is 150 and the Y is 250. Cool. And then what else do we have? Width and height. Oh, width of 50, height of one. Okay. Cool. Bam. Now, guys, keep in mind X and Y when you hover over. You see how it says X and Y? So that's what they're talking about. There's an invisible graph behind this. Very bottom is 0x400y. I know it's weird. Top is uh, top is 0y. All right. Anyways, use the draw lips method to draw leaves of the tree. Make the width of each circle 100 and the height And the height, 100. Okay, so have them even. Alrighty, so that's straightforward enough, I think. Um, where should I draw them? I think circles draw from the center of them out, but I'm not certain of that. Uh, let's see, 250 for... I'm just going to guess 120, and we'll see how that goes. Okay. Width and height. And we can move these around. I'll just do one for now because I want to know, get a good idea of where it's at. And position, oh, just kidding. They gave us a position. Aha, okay, so now I have three draw ellipses and a draw rectangle. Use the following method in the scene class to change the colors of the tree leaves. Ooh, set, fill, color. Oh, okay, shoo. Mm, green. And it says a string, so we need quotes for that. Bam. Remove stroke color. Oh, okay, so we're going to remove the outline. All right. Cool. In my theater.java, instantiate the scene. Okay. And let's see if I need to pass it anything. Oh, well. No. Okay, and then call create scene. Cool, that's what we just did. Bam. Now play the scene using theater play scene. Quapow, and then a semicolon. Now, this has a parameter. I need to tell it what scene I'm talking about, and I named my object my scene. So bam, 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 and... Ooh, ooh, except I didn't color it. Okay. Hmm. Ah, I bet, guys. So we should keep in mind that code runs in order. So I'm going to test something. I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to do red here. Let's see. Ah, so what is happening, guys, is code runs in order. You have to tell the computer what color you want it to use before I ask it to paint. So we've seen this before. Right now I'm saying, hey, paint this red. It picks up red paint, and then we start going. At the very end here, yep, I set the color to green, but it's never going to be green because the computer says, okay, next thing I draw is green. Well, there is no next thing. It's not going to draw anything. Same thing with, oh, okay, I shouldn't draw lines anymore. Outlines. Too late because we have um, already finished drawing. All right. So let's see. I want the trunk, though, to be brown, and maybe I'll do this at the top. Or is it just the leaves that don't have a stroke? I think it's just leaves. Okay. Eh, nah, I want it all. Yeah, so they don't have a line anywhere on it. Okay, let's give this a shot. Perfect. Yep, guys, remember code runs in order. Cool. Onward.